All right, so today we are going to be testing out the new Bond of Friendship category team led by Tech, Kale, and Khalifla on the GT Legendary Goku event. Now, like I said before, I feel like this is actually a really good category, at least compared to most new categories these days, because not only do we have a lot of team building options, it's a really big category, but we also have a lot of really powerful options like the UI Gokus, the Super Saiyan Gokus, the Goten and Trunkses, obviously the Kales, Khaliflas, and Kefalas, and so on and so forth. So I could have gone in a lot of different directions with this team, but for today's video, we got the double tech Kale and Khaliflas. We have LR Kale and Khalifla, uh, Int UI Goku, AGL UI Goku, the Int LR Super Saiyan Goku, and finally, LR B Pan. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And on this first rotation, we have triple Kales and Khaliflas. So uh, looking at the starting defense, the uh, friend Kale and Khalifla has 101,358. My Kale and Khalifla has 102,371. And the LR has 116,280. Now keep in mind that both my Kale and Khalifla as well as the friend are at 55%. So obviously, if they were rainbowed or had dupes, it would be even better. So let's give a few orbs to all the Kales and Khaliflas and uh, see what they can do. Now, I'm gonna say it right now, uh, yeah, the first couple of supers are not gonna be that impressive because they need some time to build up. But after a couple of turns, especially if we get additional supers like that, then uh, they will build up fairly quickly. So don't make an opinion, don't make a judgment yet, because it's still very early on, right? Now, the LR uh, can hit pretty hard from the start, close to 4.2 mil, and the Goku is dead. Unfortunately, I wanted the friend killing Khalifla to get a couple supers too, but what can you do? Okay, so on this rotation, we have the Int UI Goku, and also the Int LR Super Saiyan Goku. And, uh, yeah, their starting defense is actually pretty good, and they both stack defense as well. So, I guess I'm, uh, put the UI there. I mean, neither of these guys can really tank that well yet, but at least this guy has a little bit more defense. So, yeah, we'll put him there. Hopefully we don't get supered. We're probably going to get supered anyways, but... Oh, man, fingers crossed. Uh, the good thing is the B pan will heal us a bit after we get supered, so um, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to conserve all our items until, at the very least, until we get to the Golden Great Ape. So a super here would be pretty bad. We could dodge though. Yo, dodge that. Dodge that. Come on. Come on. Okay. Of course, he doesn't dodge the super, obviously. Why would he? Right? I mean, dodge the normals, but supers are great, so let's not dodge those. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? It wasn't actually as bad as I was expecting. I thought it would be over 200k easy, so the fact that it was only 145 or something like that is decent. And like I said, man, B-Pan healed us for almost all the damage, actually. We're almost back to full HP. So yeah, B-Pan is a great option for this team, let me just say that. Uh, let's see, so defense has gone up by a lot, 160,000 now for the 55% Kellen Khalifla, the LR is at 151,000, and the AGL UI Goku, now he is, I mean obviously by far the most powerful unit on this team, but since we're trying to get to the end of this event, and uh, he doesn't need to be stacked up. I'm actually going to be floating him until we get to at least the Golden Great Ape because uh, I want the other guys to get more chances to super, to build up their defense, and uh, also if I kept him in rotation, we would have killed the Gokus like too quickly. So as much as I can, I'm going to try to give AGL UI Goku 12 key supers as opposed to 18 key supers just so he doesn't do too much damage. But the LR Kellen and Khalifla are also hitting pretty damn hard. So that might be a problem. 
Alright, so these Gokus should be a bit more tanky now. Yeah, close to 200,000 for each of them. And I'm gonna put the uh, Int LR Goku in the first slot to get that hit, just so we can get a guaranteed second super. And uh, let's just give one tech orb to the LR Kellen Khalifla. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah. Close to 200,000 defense, but still not quite good enough to eat a super right now. Luckily, it wasn't a type of vantage super, so it didn't do too bad. And we do get B-Pan next turn, so she'll heal us again. And I won't have to use another item, or use an, an item, period, until later on. But yeah, no, these, these GT Gokus, man, they hit hard. If you guys weren't aware, I mean, you've seen enough of these like showcase videos, these these GT legendary Goku event runs to know that uh, the Gokus, the enemy Gokus hit really hard, but yeah, we still gotta be pretty careful. Okay, so the friend Kellen Khalifa are finally, is finally getting some supers. We really need it. One more, come on. Give me one more. Yeah, yeah we really need those because um, their defense is not nearly good enough right now. Uh, my killing Khalifa over 200,000 now, actually building faster than the LR, which is interesting. But I guess it makes sense because the LR hasn't had a chance to get multiple supers in a turn yet. They pretty much just killed the uh, GT Goku every time they attacked. It's probably going to be the case this turn as well, actually, now that I think about it. Probably. Okay, one more, one more. <sighs> okay, and that's 4.6. He's definitely dead, there's no chance. There, there, there's no chance. Hmm. Oh, and then additional normal, of course, kills him. Oh! Yo, that is blessed. Okay, so... <laughs> we got lucky there, actually. We got... We got to leave him with like a tiny sliver of HP, so we got that second super. That's awesome. That's amazing. Okay, um... Yo, this is actually a really scary turret, man, because I want LR Goku, like the, the Super Saiyan Goku, to get double supers, but man, he's probably gonna get us killed if we take a super attack. So unless I take him out of rotation and put the AGL UI there, who I know can take that hit. Uh, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Let's take him out. Let's put the uh, AGL UI Goku there. He will be just fine. We're gonna save that active skill for later on. And uh, let's give these to the int UI. We'll give these to the uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Now watch, <laughs> watch the super attack be that last attack at the end, right? That one attack at the very end after the Super Saiyan Goku attacks. Watch that one be the super. I would not be surprised at all, man. This game loves the troll. It loves the troll, so. <laughs> I'm gonna say there's a 50% chance that that's gonna be the super attack. Oh my god, okay, so our uh, AGL UI Goku, he was like, yo, I was getting bored, so now I'm just gonna go off and almost solo the Super Saiyan 3 Goku by myself. All right, well, there were a million attacks in that first slot and none of them were supers, so I'm telling you guys, man, <laughs> this game loves to troll people. <laughs> And uh, we're probably going to be taking that super attack at the end. And there is a... Oh! Okay, he's dead. That worked out. That worked out. Although I would have preferred to keep him alive for a bit longer. But, um... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, let me think about this for a second. So... I want to keep the same rotation. I want to keep my killing Khalifa in the first slot, a friend in the last slot, 
But dude, if one of those attacks at the end is a super, we're probably dead, so... I guess we'll pop our first item here. Let's pop Horse and Snake. Okay, and uh... Yeah, we should be okay after that. Keyword is should. Should. There's no guarantees right now. I do not want to perform the Kefla transformation yet. Um, we'll do that probably at the last phase when we face the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Or Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay, don't super me in the last slot, please. Please be a super here. Nope, that's not a super. Okay, so please no super this turn. That would be ideal. No super attack this turn. It's gonna suck if there is a super at the end, because that friend one has not a lot of defense. Even with the Princess Snake, we would still probably take a ridiculous amount of damage. Like at least 200k, 250, 300, something like that. Probably. Oh, we got lucky. <laughs> we got lucky there. All right. That's beautiful. Um. Is it, is, it, is it safe to put the uh, NTY there? Mm, probably. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm too scared, man. I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to dodge this one. If not, it's still not going to be bad. There we go. Dodge off. Man. AGL UI Goku is like ridiculously just broken, man. I mean... I would, I would, I would argue he's still like probably. Hmm. I don't know, guys. To me, he's still the best overall unit in the game. Like he might not hit the hardest. He might not have the best defense, but he has really, really good defense. He hits really, really hard, and he has the revival skill. He has the active skill. The dodges are just stupidly, stupidly clutch. I mean. There's just so much to love about this, uh, uh, about this UI Goku. So to me, overall, even though we've had some amazing units come out since then, um, I, I might still take the AGL UI Goku over everyone else in this game, man. Maybe. Am I crazy? Let me know. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. I mean... Maybe I'm just, uh, it's just recency bias because I just saw him do some crazy things, right? Maybe that's it, uh, or maybe I'm just right, you know? Maybe, maybe I'm just speaking facts. So, so tell me, am I crazy? Because I think, I think AGL UI Goku is still the best unit in the game, guys. I think he is. I think he is. Alright, anyways. We're gonna kill the Great Ape here. Now we got... Int Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And. Ooh, this uh, will be an interesting turn. Now, the good thing is, we do definitely have a token attack for the AGL UI Goku. Um, I'm trying to think, maybe I should pop the Kale and Khalifla act. Let's, let's pop it, let's pop it. Screw it. We're gonna pop that. Uh, it gives us some more defense, and we also have. Wait, does, does Kefla have a chance to dodge? <laughs> I don't actually remember. Let me check, let me check. My memory is not the greatest, you guys know this. So, I'm gonna have to take a look. Okay, so our defense now is... Oh, hold on. So we dropped some defense, but we do have a high chance of evading. A high chance of evading, that's, that's good. Uh, do we want to pop an item right now? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say we trust in the power of RNG, which might be one of the stupidest things I've ever said. <laughs> but we're gonna believe. Ah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. That's perfect. And of course, yep, AGLUI doing his thing, dodging everything. Let's get this token attack off. One, two, oh crap. <laughs> I got too excited. 
Sorry guys, I got I got I got way too excited. By the way, if you uh, are curious about where I got this sweater, or this cup for that matter, uh, head down to the link in my description. It's from GamerSups. They're a sponsor of this channel. And uh, use my code TIGER for 20% off. Sorry, no, it's 10% off now. 20% was for Black Friday. But 10% off all your purchases. Go check them out. GamerSups. Waifu shirt, waifu cups, and a bunch of other good stuff. Okay, so let's see what happens here with the Kef Flood. We did not see an attack stat. How much attack does she have? It doesn't matter. It's probably not going to do a lot of damage unless she crits. Yeah, there you go. Of course, the normal attack crits, not the super attack. That's that's great. That is wonderful. Um, Let me see. Let's... Yeah, let's leave Kale and Khalifla, the, the LR one in the first slot. Um, I'm not gonna transform just yet. Not gonna transform just yet. For now, we're gonna leave Kale and Khalifla as Kale and Khalifla for at least one more rotation. And I will transform, I think, once we get to full power. Super Saiyan 4. Give me a crit. There's a nice crit. We should be getting one more super attack at least. Guaranteed, there we go. And maybe a third. Wait, is that possible? I think we can get a third with the hidden potential. Uh, but no, we do not. Okay, so a dodge there. Ooh, a super, can we dodge that? Please, please dodge that, thank you. Oh, getting some clutch dodges today, guys. Oh, he dodged too, that's fine. You can, you can dodge as much as you want, I don't care. I do not care. I just wanted to make sure I dodged that super. And uh, B Pan. He's not gonna do much. Yep, she's not gonna do much. But at least she's not taking too much damage either. Okay, so let me see what I wanna do here. Um, I think I'm actually. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. You know what? Let's actually put Super Saiyan Goku in the first slot. I'm gonna pop Princess Snake just uh, to be safe, and I'm gonna let him get a couple supers off just so we can build up his defense because it's it's decent right now, but it could be a lot better. It would be a lot better. That Princess Snake might not have been necessary, but I like to err on the side of caution. I prefer to play it safe when we get this late into the showcase. Just because if we die now, I have to restart, and that would really suck. That would make me really, really sad. But let's get a third super here. Just solidify that defense. One more. Damn it. Okay, well, it seems like that item was a good call. <laughs> nice. So I'm hoping we get the uh, mastered UI transformation um, at some point in this video. But it's going to be a fine balance between like getting below 50% HP and also not dying. So we'll see if, uh, if that happens. Second super for UI, possibly a third on the way. I'm gonna say it happens. I'm gonna say he just. Oh, never mind. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um. 421,000. Okay, so I am going to leave Kale and Khalifa there and just assume that we don't die. If we do get supered, though, I think they have enough defense to not get us killed, and then we can mm, get the transformation. Or into UI next turn. There's the double super. Still haven't seen triple supers. I did give them some nice skill orbs, so there is a 12% chance. Which didn't happen there. But there was a 12% chance that we could have gotten an additional attack after that. And uh, wow, we're not taking a super there. And this will probably kill him. So this. <laughs> This Ultra Instinct transformation is not looking too promising, guys. I don't think it's actually going to happen. <sighs> well, 
well, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. There he goes, and final phase. Yeah, this team is awesome, guys. This team is freaking awesome, I gotta say. Uh, B-Pan worries me. B-Pan, B-Pan concerns me. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. So, I feel like we should actually put this guy here. Okay, let's pop an Android 8 for B-Pan's sake. And let's pop her active skill too. So we get that attack boost. You know what? No, uh, I can't actually get a super here as you can see. So let's give uh, these. Yep, to the Super Saiyan Goku. We'll give these to UI. That should hit pretty hard too. And then we'll give these to B-Pan. I'm really hoping B-Pan doesn't get supered. But with the Aider, I think will be okay I don't know man I don't know it might be close it might be a close call the sad thing is my my Goku can't crit because he doesn't have any dupes and I gave him additional skill orbs so yeah it's a shame that he's uh not gonna be doing any great damage but still still good damage obviously with the type of advantage it's just he could be hitting a lot harder Hey, UI did pretty good there. You, UI did pretty good there. Okay. Oh no, okay. So I think we're gonna get super, guys. I think, I think we're gonna get super here for B-Pan. Uh, oh! Never mind. Never mind, we're chilling. We are chilling, all right. Um, 802,000 defense. 802,000 defense for the LR, 737,000 for the tech. I'm gonna do the transformation. Let's become uh, Kefla here. We should still be very, very tanky after this. Oh, you know what though? I should have saved it. <laughs> I just realized I, I, I wasted the healing. I wasted the healing. That's, that was really dumb. That was really dumb of me. I did not even think about the 60% healing that we were just throwing away. We we're just throwing away. Okay, well, what can you do? It is what it is. Okay, since the UI Goku music just came on, I'm gonna pop the UI Goku active skill here. Um, if we don't crit, we're not gonna do a lot of damage, but screw it. It's still worth it. It's still worth it for the animation. The damage, not so much. But once again, if we crit, it'll still be good. Damn, no crit. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Okay. Those for him. Or her, rather. Or them, I guess. And uh, an 18k super for UI. So, obviously, we can't get any dodges. But our defense is still really, really good. Uh, hopefully, it's good enough. I don't know. 460,000 defense. That's good enough, right? I guess it could have been better. I guess it could have been better. <laughs> Damn. Maybe the transformation was a bad idea. Actually, I knew it was a bad idea. I, I knew it was a bad idea as soon as I did it. Um, because we wasted the healing. And then I saw the defense. I was like, it's still good defense, but we could have had a lot better defense. Like much, much, much better defense. What can you do, guys? Sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes people make mistakes. Good thing is we do still have one more Aider left. And, uh... AGL UI Goku, even though, you know... He's AGL. He's got that high chance to crit. So we're most likely getting at least one crit here. That's, that's one. No additional supers, though, which is surprising. Oh god, okay, uh... <laughs> this is not a setup you want to see, man. Alright, so we're gonna pop that. Yep, we're gonna pop that. And... Woo, this is a tough one. Okay, so let's put... Yeah, let's put UI there. Um... 
Hmm, let me see. So careful at the end is just a terrible idea. So we can't do careful at the end. I can't really get a super off with either the Goku or the Kefla here either. Oh man, this rotation just became really, really bad, guys. I mean, I, there, there's not much I can do just because, like, you know, all those attacks are stacked at the end, so I can't really afford to keep the same rotation. But with that said, it still really sucks. It still really, really sucks. I think it just became a lot more annoying at the end here. I still got full confidence in our ability to clear it. It's just like gonna take a little bit longer than than I would like, you know. But that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Wow. Okay. What are these? What are these rotations, man? Like. <laughs> Okay, um, we'll give one orb to her. That's gonna be seven orbs for Kale, uh, for Kefla, rather. So that's gonna be a good, actually, attack. Because she gets the additional attack boost with six or more orbs. So that's gonna be a nice super. Uh, we had to leave B Pen in the first slot because obviously B Pen uh, would not do so well in the second or third slots with all those, with all those attacks. And Kefla can go off a little bit here. I saw, I think, close to 5 mil. That's a crit. <sighs> Second super would have been so nice. Second super would have been so nice. But we should still be able to finish it off next turn, I believe. We, sh we should be able to. There's a really good chance. And, like, yeah, the, the LR is, is close to a million defense now, so he's not really going to break through. Even a super, I think, is going to do double digits at this point. Even a super attack, I think, is going to be double digits. Let's see what happens here. Okay, double digits. Yep, yep, as expected. And, uh, yeah, we're out of items, but uh, I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. Let's get it, guys. That's going to be an 18k super. And the only thing that could go wrong is if uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 decides to become UI Goku and starts dodging all of our attacks. And in that case, then maybe Kefla could be in some trouble. But outside of that, I think we'll be fine. So that's close to 5 mil for the int UI. If he gets an additional... Oh, it doesn't even matter, actually. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. No, he's dead. There's no chance he's surviving AGL UI here. Even if it doesn't crit, it should still do more than enough damage to kill him. And it's probably gonna crit. Yeah, like I said. There you go, guys. There you go. Well, there you have it. That is the Bond of Friendship Category Team Showcase. Um, Things got a little bit... What's the right word? Sticky? No, that's not the right word at all. <laughs> I was gonna say, things got a little bit, like, scary at the end there. Sticky was definitely not the right word. I don't know why I thought that. But, uh, we got it done. We got it done. And that's all that really matters. Uh, this team can be really ridiculous. I don't know if B-Pan was really the right choice. Um, but like I said, man, you can do a lot of different options. You can do a lot of different, uh, combinations of units because this category is uh, significant, right? It's a very big category. You have many, many options for team building. Um, I thought maybe I could have brought the Goten and Trunks. That would have actually been a really good combination, like the HDL Goten and the Fizz Trunks with the EZAs. Um, you could have brought like the Krillin plus the, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest, Goten, Trunks, and Krillin. That would have been good too. Uh, obviously, you can do like the base kill and Khaliflas and so on and so forth. So many, many different options. A really good category overall. One of the better categories we've seen recently. And uh, that's it, guys. That is your team showcase. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about 
the team overall. And also, going back to my question earlier on, do you think AGL UI Goku is still the best unit in the game right now? Because I think overall, when you're taking like, just everything into consideration, he's gotta be. He's gotta be. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.